A female draft, brilliant or daft. This week, the top officers in the Army and Marine Corps testified that they believe all women, including even the adorable Reese Witherspoon, <laughs> should have to register for future military drafts. Generals Mark Milley, Miley, Miley, Milley, and Robert Neller, seen here looking awesome, uh, agreed that the current draft law, which requires only males to register, should be changed now that women are allowed to uh, allowed in combat roles. The pair also told the Senate Armed Service Committee on Tuesday it will take up to three years before the combat posts are fully integrated. Well, I don't know about you, but if you're going to start drafting women, what's next? Letting them vote? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. That's a joke, people. All right. Um, strong feelings about this, uh, Kyle? Uh, yeah, I think they should uh, register for the draft. Mm -hmm. I think they should get paid equally. Mm -hmm. And I think they should pick up the bill. <laughs> yeah. That makes Equality. sense. Equality. Equality all, all around. Across the board. That yeah. makes so... And Open my door. Yeah. Uh, what else? It's, you know, yeah. things I do. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm tired of it, Gavin. Something tells me you're not for this. I'm <laughs> all for it. Oh, really? They should have to do... All, they want equality for everything fun. They want to be equal in movies and, and desserts and parties. How about you're equal in sanitation? How about you have to go down into the sewers and remove rat kings mm -hmm. from blocked pipes? How about you go to war and yeah. die? So would they only draft women who are over like 5 foot 10 and 180 pounds or something? Cause that, but you guys are they... missing a really important point here too, which uh -oh. is that... <laughs> so one, que one question over here is should women have to sign up for the draft? But the other question is who do you want to make that decision? And that's what this legislation that these two Republicans just just proposed recently is really about it's do you want congress to make that call or do you want the pentagon the department of defense to make that call because those are your two options so congress is very concerned mm -hmm. that they're not going to have a say the department of defense is going to declare a policy one way or the other and then now this is the national standard but they feel that they should really as the representatives of the people get the the people's opinion because it here. was congress wasn't it that said all combat roles should be open to women? No, ultimately it's a Pentagon decision. Oh, It was well, kind there. of a stroke yeah. of the pen from the Secretary of Defense. So this is a really big, that's what this new legislation is about. So that's Jillian, you just took the Greg Gutfeld show into special report territory. Wow. We're not used to going this deep. We usually read the first two paragraphs of every story, then we get drunk, and then we write our stuff I'm... down on cocktail napkins. <laughs> Kat, uh, I think you'd make an awful soldier, but what do I know? Yeah, I'm not going. No. There's no way I'm going, not just for myself, but for our country, all right? Like, look, yeah. I, this is not a war body. <laughs> I, I don't really know a lot of this. is not a war body uh. here. I also don't have the emotional fortitude for war. I'm not going. Doesn't matter. I'll go to Canada. However, I, I don't, it doesn't matter. But you know what? Don't they have to pass the same physical qualifications anyways? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't pass that. No, but that's the no, question. Really. If they alter the standards, then it's wrong. If they yeah. keep the standards, mm -hmm. as Kyle would say, you would need a different kind of woman to yeah. match the same muscle different mass as a man, man. Mm -hmm. I believe, Joanne. Yeah. I'm Thankful staring at you. Thankfully, just like pageants, I've now aged out yes. of what, of what the, the draft would be of me signing up. I do wish, though, that there was a greater sense of nationalism in this country. Mm -hmm. The idea of serving your country in whatever capacity. Do I think that a lot of women will be able to serve the same as men in war zones? No, but can they help in other ways? Yeah, and, and I don't know that it should be mandatory, but I do wish that people had more of that desire. I think it's, I mean, look, if you want to serve then you're better, you, you're, that's awesome. I agree yeah. with you completely. And I look at Israel, which has a draft, correct? And male and female. And you, and you can tell it's a different kind of mindset when they, after, they, after they go through it. But I don't know. I have a thought experiment here. Okay. Imagine, if, okay, if you don't think, yeah, thank you, Gavin, for getting ready for this. If you don't think biology matters, what if this were the reverse? That for the last couple of thousand years, only women fought the wars? And then suddenly in the 21st century, we go, you know what? We should let men get involved in the wars. And, the, and it's a gender with 50% more muscle mass and a ton more testosterone. So all of a sudden, women are like, whoa, this is weird. This is exactly what's happening in the MMA. If a fighter, a male fighter, has a sex change and fights, the female fighters are like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this because it's unfair. Now they're talking about maybe we have to adjust the hormone levels so, the, so women and men can fight equally. So 
That's an interesting way to look at it that perhaps makes no sense whatsoever. Well, in, in your experiment, if we're going to do that, we'll have to talk to President Hitler, because if women were soldiers for the past hundred years, we would have lost World War II. We probably like wouldn't Goldie have been Hawn. embroiled in <laughs> half as many wars, which is another good Ooh. point. Women are not naturally war makers as That's are untrue. many men. What about pagan days? All you guys were doing was sacrificing no, 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 babies was and virgins. But, you Wait, know, the you were horrible with sneaky women. tactics. But just because women are That's drafted also doesn't yeah. necessarily mean they're going to the front lines in mm -hmm. combat. As you know, as Joe pointed out, like there's many, there's millions of different roles they can serve in the military. It doesn't mean they have to be combat officers. They can be cheerleaders you know, so for the soldiers. Soldiers. They're There's looking a after <laughs> soldiers' kids, yeah. keeping the home nice. But then men could be cheerleaders too, right? <laughs> Yeah, I suppose. You need someone at the bottom of the pyramid. <laughs> exactly. So. They need those guys at the bottom. I don't even know what that means. I think it's great. I think that, you know what it is? It, it, it's like you said, uh, feminists want total equality. This is total equality. Yeah, and equality sucks. By every metric, men have it worse off. We're more likely to get raped if you include prison. We're more likely to be assaulted. We're more likely to die. We're more likely to commit suicide. And so you're if not you want to come over to our side, of it, <laughs> then get ready for some rough times. I will dispute the the rape part, but I will say this: <laughs> industrial accidents, true. People who build bridges generally are men, and they often fall off them. I get that. You know that happens, and war that happens. So I guess you know total equality means there'll be more industrial accidents. And yeah, more great. More casual. Right, because you're not as smart or as good looking as women as a whole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. So we are. We are smarter and dumber than women. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. Is much wider. We have a wide variety. You guys are more sort of like a little bit dumb, a little bit smart. We're <laughs> total morons and geniuses. There is like we have a huge spectrum. Yeah, I like us. We're very underrated as men. <laughs> yes. Well, well, some men are. <laughs> I don't know what you'd be rated as at this point. Okay, <laughs> up next, an examination of the impending financial crisis due to declining fuel prices, record low interest rates, and unraveling Chinese economy. Just kidding. We're going to look at Super Bowl ads. Everybody loves Super Bowl ads. I hate them. I hate them.